let me say a word about the Fannie Willis case. I'm having watched a good bit of that uh, hearing, the hearing involving uh, Nathan Wade, Fannie Willis. It seems obvious what's going on. And yet the question to me is, uh, is there, if the judge wants to rule for Willis, uh, is there a way for him to kind of plausibly justify that? Now, let's remember that the Fannie Willis case is not about the fact that Fannie Willis had an affair. It has to do with two things. One, did she lie to the court? Did this relationship, which she, she says began in 2022, actually begin then? Or did it begin earlier in 2019, as one of the witnesses, actually uh, a friend, uh, testified? If the judge believes that it began earlier, that's very bad news for Fannie Willis, because how do you have somebody who's the chief prosecutor of Fulton County uh, in a highly sensitive case involving Trump and other defendants if you can't believe that they can even tell the truth to the court in an official proceeding. So I think if the judge believes the witness that the relationship began earlier, that's, that would probably by itself be enough for Fannie Willis to be disqualified. The second issue, a little more murky, is the issue of, of whether Fannie Willis benefited from this. And this is important because the key issue here is she paid this lawyer all this money and did she do it a because he was her boyfriend that would be corruption on the face of it and b did she herself get some of that money back because he turned around and spent the money on her now fanny willis produced this uh, sort of far out and i would say preposterous on the face of its story that for all these trips they took together and all these vacations and cruise tickets and airplane tickets and money they spent that that wade paid on his credit card and she paid him back in cash in other words she was unable to produce uh, receipts to say here's all the money i paid him back here's the proof i did it here are the checks i wrote she even denied she went to the atm to get the money because presumably you could go to the atm and see if it was in fact the case at least is she on the surveillance cameras of those atms if she can say oh i used to go every tuesday to the atm and get the money but no 